In this video, we will learn about how to calculate time that is spent in an activity. If some workers are working under you and you want to keep track of time that, that they are spending in activity or you are working as a freelancer for some client and you want to keep track of how much time you spend with the client. So in this situation, such sheet is very useful. So you can see here we have start time, end time and we have day for the month and the dates corresponding dates what we want is uh, automatically we want to calculate here hours that we spend on a particular day so generally we need to write here start time and end time so we want to calculate here hours spent in the activity automatically so let's understand how to do it let's get started enter start time and end time so whenever we start our activity we are going to enter here start time now in google sheet there is a shortcut called control shift and colon so if we write it automatically it is going to enter the uh, the current time stamp now you have done work on the activity and then when the activity ends you are going to enter the end time so again i'll enter these three keys together control shift and colon so it will enter the end time now just to calculate the difference i am entering here the start time as 402 and 32 seconds so in this way we can enter timestamps whenever we use these three key combinations control shift colon it is going to enter the current time value now here it's very simple we just subtract the start time from the end time so you can see here we have formula for that it is e7 minus d7 so i simply copy that and i paste it here so you can see here two hours we have spent on this particular day now at the end of the month you want to calculate total hours that you spent with the client or how many hours your workers spent in a month on activity we can simply do sum of all these cells and automatically it is going to calculate total hours that were spent on this activity so google sheet provides uh, very important shortcuts so this control shift colon is for entering the current timestamp there is another shortcut called control alter and shift colon so that is going to enter the date as well as timestamp so in case you want to also record the date in the cell we can use it so using such sheet we can easily keep track of activities that we are doing so we need to prepare such sheet only once then we can reuse it for all the days and for all the months Thanks for watching and happy learning.